Hello and welcome back to the Donkey Kong Jungle Climber talk through me, the Jelly Monkey. And me, Spin the Crusader, partially tired and partially high on caffeine. This is going to be a great <laughs> part. <laughs> yeah. Last time we defeated the game in all of its entirety except for one element the extra stages. Oh, and this is gonna be great. <laughs> yeah. These are your rewards for collecting all the banana coins. The best way I could describe them is. ROM hacks created by Dixie to punish you. Uh. <laughs> this is for not including her in the game, people. Yeah. Basically, uh, the best way to describe these stages is that, um, well, even, as even Dixie describes in the menu, they're brutal stages. They rack up the difficulty by forcing you to um, use mechanics so you uh, may have accidentally encountered the game but weren't encouraged to use. In this case, you have to use the uh, barrel attack to bounce off the walls. Wow, that that's easier said than done. <laughs> yeah, as you can probably tell. Oh, and uh, one other thing I will also like to mention for how this video is going to go. Um, <laughs> you just yeah, I'm... you made the jump and then bounced off. That's just that's just insulting, game. Yeah, I know. Uh... Twice. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, one thing I will say is that after this level, I will be uh, taking out the game audio and uh, just putting in music of my choosing. And I know some people are going to be annoyed with that, but um, here's the thing. Just listen to this music for a second. <laughs> this music is quite possibly the most ear-shredding thing I've ever heard in my life. It is... Irritatingly cheerful and high, and completely mismatched with the uh, brutal difficulty that's going on in this level. And on top of that, it only lasts for about 15 seconds, so it goes round and round in an endless loop, and this is what makes the stages frustrating sometimes, even though they're a good challenge. The fact that you're listening to this, like it's mocking you. I, I'm, of the, I'm of the opinion that that music has got to, had to have been put in purely to insult people. Yeah. <laughs> like, this is also giving credence to my theory that this is created by Dixie just to torture you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but frankly, this stage isn't too hard. Nothing can actually kill you, it's just getting the right angle. But, um. Yeah, just remember all the various tricks you. <laughs> you learn throughout the game, and also remember that when you're on the ground, if you continue to hold forward as you press the attack, you'll launch yourself at an angle. That's how you get yourselves up the um, platforms we were on just a little bit earlier. Yeah. Oh my god. It, it's not really that these levels are- that the level so far is challenging, it's just tedious as- <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, this stage is alright. If you want to see tedious, there's loads more. Oh yeah, and, uh, contrary to what I said last time, uh, there's not going to be two videos. I found I could condense them both into one, because of the rest I took out all of my failures, mostly because they resulted in my death. Uh. <laughs> oh, I still hope that there are some you managed to leave in, like a few of the videos we've commentated on. Oh, that just sucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but hopefully you'll be... Like I said, not all the stages will be this long, I just included the whole thing. A, because I did die, and B, there's a lot of stuff I wanted to get over in the introduction to this video. But, eventually, yes! Once you collect the DK coin, it's all over. The first time around. Yep. One town, ten to go. In the words of Star Wars, do 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 I'm not quite sure what that has to do with anything, but anyway. <laughs> I just imagine calming cue music, what can I say? Fair enough. So yeah, this stage, as you can see, it's pretty much actually an old element from DKC, pretty much. You're using the bouncing on the tires to progress. And again, you can't actually die in this stage, it's just about patience, really. Yeah, tedium. Again. Well, Trust me, we'll get onto the fun stages later. At least it's not as horrible as, uh... At least it's not as horrible as wall jumping. Yep. Although, as you can probably tell, these tires are from the uh, toy box levels, so... They're all multi fluorescent colours for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even remember any child's toy that actually had wheels of that colour. Yeah. And, uh... 
Let, let me just remark on the background music here. Is that dubstep circus music? Um, no, actually it's from Tekken. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Ooh, that's the custom music. I thought you were going to edit it in editing. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, no, I edited <laughs> I edited it now. <laughs> well, Pretty much because I, it's... In that case, I uh, kind of appreciate that. Otherwise, I would be I would have to listen to that loop. Oh god, yeah. I, I don't want to to force anyone through that, especially not myself. Not again. <laughs> if I I'm, glad you, through the... I'm glad you didn't force your sidekick through it either. <laughs> in fact, I, I'll be honest. In probably I think my last three stages of the game, I. I gave up because I couldn't stand listening to the tune it anymore. I just uh, muted the game audio and st I, can't, I started listening to Dragon Force and Within Temptation instead. <laughs> That's an infinitely better soundtrack, let's be honest. I think anyone yeah. can agree. And that's this stage done. Yay, that one was easier. But I'm not yeah. going to continue that trend. No, and I believe... Ah, yes, this is the first stage where you can die, but this one's more interesting. It's um, reusing a mechanic we saw, um, I believe, in one of the... Um, crystal, oh, <coughs> not crystal, the um, glass palace stage. Basically, um, you're smashing the um, painted glass to create platforms to move on. So it's basically about... Uh, well, remembering that you can uh, use the um, angle ball and attack from the ground, and also just choosing your targets wisely. Yeah. That's not too bad, really. Yeah. And thankfully, as you can get to L, it's a lot easier once you... I mean, you'll make a few mistakes once you... <laughs> the first time around, but if you remember that uh, the hand bars pull... Uh, re refresh everything, you'll be fine. That this actually stage was hand. Yeah. Oh dear, spikes. Yeah. Yeah, this stage is a lot more tense. Oh, cause the cause the platforms don't go back up and they're zingers. Uh, yeah. In fact the platforms are already sinking to the ground from the <laughs> right on the start. Whoa! <laughs> that was close. Yeah. Again, if you remain calm and know what you're doing, you should be fine. Well, at least now they're going a whole lot faster. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, here's stage Holy five. Holy crap! Yeah. Oh, the the amount of deaths I had to cut out of this one. And, but this is also a new reason why I hate these Nucky Juniors! Um, <laughs> oh just to quick clarify, yeah, I skimmed through it, but basically, um, as you can probably tell, um, if you don't keep having all of these, you'll eventually fall down, and sort of what will always happen is that you grab a peg, but you'll be pulled back down into one of the Neckies nuts, so yeah. The less said uh, about that stage, the better. I'm not going to comment on that at all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, trust me, when you get to play this stage, Innuendo will be the last thing from your mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, let's just say you'll be there while this one, uh, we're now dealing with bombs and... <laughs> Yeah, it's a bit more interesting. Basically, you're using the, uh, the sp hitting pegs and the uh, bombs to try to uh, blast through all the crates. Because um, one of the mechanics they use regularly here is that um, if you let go of something whilst you're flying forwards, uh, the rock will, or bomb in this case, will fly forward and <laughs> will, will fly forward based on sheer momentum. Or in this case. You have to keep holding on to the object, so it's basically using the different throwing and grabbing mechanics. Yeah. I do like. Uh, I love the Kamikaze Rock Bomber strategy, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's the best thing you'd go around it. Oh, and uh, if you like that strategy, wait until you see what we're doing here. See, those hold. Those blocks need, hold, need the holes filled in in order to progress. <laughs> oh, that. That's just evil. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thankfully. <laughs> you, you were just swinging off lit bombs. Yeah. <laughs> evil can evil eat your heart out. <laughs> oh, geez. Oh, and, uh, 
this stage... You may be wondering why those pegs have such an erratic pattern. I mean, okay, they move from side to side, but you may be wondering where they're coming from. Well, uh, you'll see in a moment once past me gets himself up there. <laughs> wow, but it's really funny, but those the order of those pegs are coming in so randomly, it looks like Guitar Hero. Yeah. <laughs> Guitar Master Donkey Kong, there's an image for you. <laughs> Oh, dude, I think Diddy was more the Guitar Master, DK's more of a bongo guy. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> and, yeah, you can see him up there, there is a Kremlin dropping all the loose pegs, remember? <laughs> oh, wow. And that, thankfully you do get to punish them for uh, causing you so much trouble in the first place. I like how you're chasing after him just to, <laughs> just to knock him off. <laughs> Trust me, after all of your frustration that stage puts you through, you would too. <laughs> A sing- one monkey's single-minded quest for revenge. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Oh god, this stage, speaking of tedium. This stage operates on one mechanic. The idea is that, um... There is a question mark barrel up in the center you have to hit. Unfortunately, you can't hit it with a throw, no matter how accurate you are from where you are. So what you have to do is you have to throw it up, run over to that uh, platform by activating the switch, grab, catch it, and then hit the barrel. Oh, wow. But by, by the way, is that the Zero Two music in the background? Yep. Awesome. <laughs> I'm a fan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a good theme, but oh, you're good. I've got better music. Yeah, just wait and see. <laughs> oh god, I'm I'm having more fun with the music than I am this stage. I'm just gonna say that. Yeah, this stage is. It gave me one of the toughest troubles, not because it's hard or challenging. It's not even really fun to be honest. It's just so picky with the physics. Because, like I said, one of the few flaws I have with this game is that it's very picky with physics, very hard to judge. And of course, well, there are so many ways you can fail. You can throw at the wrong time. You can fail to catch it, it in time. You can miss when that throws. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm listening on the music now. Oh, this stage, I love it so much. <laughs> wow. And this music, oh. too. Oh, God, yes. <laughs> Yeah, I had to include the karaoke version of this, and the main reason why I um, love this stage, and um, the reason why I picked this song is because of what's happening next. Again, once you grab a bomb and let go of it, it will be carried forward by its own momentum, so... The first thing you have to do is use the bomb to smash those boulders, and then, uh... Well, let's just say we're about to do something cool, just... Just watch. Oh, wow. That was the best music ever for that. Yeah. <laughs> it's infinitely more epic. Even though that was yeah, kind of... tell me Donkey Kong's off badass after seeing that. <laughs> <laughs> and now for this stage. Oh god, this is the reason why this part took so long, people. Oh god. This is a long track of pegs and there is so many margins for errors. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, uh, basically, yeah, <laughs> this is a stage where you have to be very precise in your jumping. My advice for getting through this stage is, when you're in free fall, pick a peg to go for and stick with it. If you have any doubt or any hesitation, you're screwed. Good, good to know. Okay, that's a bit, that's a bit, uh, perilous. Yeah, oh, but wait, haven't seen the next bit yet. <laughs> I think his tie just got shredded into ribbons. <laughs> uh, hey. Oh, wow. Yeah, oh, and, uh, I beat this stage once, but the recording didn't work and I had to do it again, so that's why there's no DK coin. <laughs> oh, God, it's... <laughs> it did do it twice. <laughs> uh, and now this final stage, which admittedly I had more fun with, especially compared to the last stage. Anything. This stage well, little... really anything's more fun than the last stage. Yeah. <laughs> this one's a little more forgiving than... Yeah, you feel so cool when you get it right. 
Ah, outrunning the lava. Just like the yeah. days of old. Oh, yeah, the, um... The strategy you'll just use in the, uh, double, uh, attack straight away, you can, uh, grab and just jump, but I prefer to use the attack because it propels you up slightly faster, and it, uh, I find it also acts like a little shortcut in order to, um, uh, get you up faster and give you a head start over the lava, which can help, if you, especially if you're gonna make a mistake on, uh, the you know, target two to it. DK, stop celebrating, the lava's still coming! <laughs> That that is a very that is a very place to celebrate. Yeah. But Cranky, yes, here we are. Cranky, Zan and Ab, you're about to be barbecued. You may want to move. <laughs> uh, well, we're in a different place now. And remember at the start of this quest, the reason why Deacon they were chasing after <laughs> all for the love of a giant banana, and they finally got their hands on it. Ah, oh, that's rewarding. It's just too bad it doesn't have a mustache. <laughs> oh, these! But yep, folks, that's the end of the game. <laughs> oh, that was satisfying. Yeah. <laughs> First, yeah. Uh, well, the video's run out, but we might as well keep talking for a bit. Yeah, that's pretty much the end of this talk through, and yeah, it was a lot of fun. I'm so finally glad to finish it off after. So yes, and I'm glad. And I'm glad to have tagged along on the game that provided this channel its start in the first place. There's some meta most of you probably don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know what you mean. And I'm, if nothing else, I'm also I'm glad I can finally answer the questions of people who keep asking me where the last banana coin is, etc, etc, etc. So, <laughs> Yeah. One thing people, I'm sure people are going to ask me about anyway, um... There is one sheet that even if you get 100% won't be unlocked, and um, it's if you're going for 100% completion, don't really worry about it. It's just an optional extra. If you get, I believe it's a triple A rank on. I believe it's either all of the mini game stages or just the speed climb ones. But um, if you get, just get triple A's on all of the mini games, and you'll unlock it. And what that gives you is the um, staff ghost times for the speed climb section. So, yeah, that should be fun if you like that sort of thing. <laughs> but until the next talk through, that was me, the Journey Monkey. And me for the last time on this particular talk through. Beware the mustaches, people! Seven. Justice and love will always win. Oh, I hate that saying. <laughs>